Hi, I'm Anna Bush from Iota Pi in Cal Poly San Luis Obispo. And I was wondering, can you tell me how, what the changes are to the National Listserv and how we can register for the online system? Hi Anna, and thanks for your question. At the 2009 National Convention in Phoenix, Arizona, the Kappa Kappa Psi Strategic Committee on Publications made several recommendations to the active membership. The recommendations regarding the National Listservs were in two parts. First, that the unmoderated National List would be decommissioned. The purpose behind this was to limit the amount of email traffic that was sent to all members of the list. The committee agreed that a better place for the conversational type discussions would be the online forums that have already been established on kksci.org. The second set of changes involved the moderated list. Their recommendations included placing an unsubscribe link at the bottom of all emails going through this list. Unfortunately, with the listserv software currently in use, this is not possible. They also included setting the list to reply to sender rather than every member on the list. This is possible and will take effect with the new listserv. All these changes will take place on May 1st, 2010. Remember, these changes were adopted by the active membership at the 2009 National Convention. If you have any questions regarding the changes to the National Listserv, do not hesitate to contact me. My email address is listed below and at the end of this video. Finally, I wanted to give you all a quick look at how to register for the online system. Not only will this give you the ability to utilize the online forums, but it's also an easy way to create your own caseside.org email address. Registering for the online system is quick and easy. First, you'll want to visit the national website. Simply go to www.kkpsi.org. Once you've gotten there, you'll notice a list of menu links on the left-hand side of the website. You want to go to Fraternity Online. Once you move your mouse over this section of the website, you'll have the option to select Create an Account. This will pull up an option to type your username and password. This is where you will log in once your registration is complete. For registering, you'll want to click on Create New Account. The screen should now display a fill-in menu. Type your information in and select Submit Request at the bottom of the screen. Once you have submitted your request, you will receive an email at the address you enter. This email will contain the information you listed. You need to verify that this information is correct and then click the link provided in the email. After this, the request is submitted and all that is left is approval from headquarters staff. Once they approve your account, you will receive an email with your username and temporary password. And just like that, you are registered for the online system.